I am Mohammad Raji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing on perceptron. Okay. So perceptron was introduced by Rosenblatt at nineteen forty-seven. Sorry, nineteen fifty-seven. Rosenbolt introduced this particular algorithm. Okay, so what he is said is, okay, he introduced a algorithm which will automatically, which will automatically calculate optimized weights. Okay. you can say it's a optimized weight which will be then multiplied with the input feature okay which will be multiplied with input feature which then finally the output of this multiplication okay will be passed to a function okay which then decide okay neuron has to be fire or not okay this particular function here it is called active action function and we have used unit step function you can say it's a unit step function okay so these are the three points that is mainly mentioned by the rosenbolt in his research okay so consider an example a classification example where we have a two classes one is plus 1 and other one is minus 1 okay and we have the input features consider the input features like x1 x2 x3 up to xm and we have a weight correspond to that w1 w2 W three and up to W M. Okay, here we can represent this also in a vector format like x is equal to. We can say that x one, x two up to x M. Okay, here we can represent W S, W one, W two and W M. Okay. so this also can be represented in this format second let me add another sheet here okay <clears throat> then what we can do as per the algorithm we can say that we can mention it as a w we can say that w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w3 x3 plus etc plus wm xm okay this is called net sum okay now what we can call what we, what we can say this will be passed to a function unit step function that is phi of z okay which we can say that plus 1 if z is greater than or equal to theta okay and minus 1 if z is less than theta where theta is a threshold it can be maybe 0 or it can be 1 or something like that okay so that is a threshold okay so <clears throat> here we can rewrite it something different this term and this term can be rewrite it as we know what is z right z is like w1 x1 so first let me take this theta to left side so we can say that z minus theta okay now what what is z z is equal to w1 x1 plus w2 x2 right so we can say that it will be w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w3 x3 3 plus etc plus 
xm wm minus theta okay now this again can be written as w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w3 x3 plus etc then plus w0 x0 where we can say that x0 we can say that where x0 is equal to 1 and w0 is equal to minus theta okay so the entire thing can be written as w transpose x okay so this particular term w0 and x0 term is called bias okay now let me add one more sheet we can talk little bit on unit step function now unit step function okay here we can draw it as something like let me try to draw it second here we can say unit step function as let me draw a graph okay consider this as a minus 1 and this as a plus 1 and this is equal to this is w transpose x and this is equal to phi of w transpose x okay here we can draw it something like minus 1 when is less than or equal to 0 and plus 1 this is greater than or equal to 0 so this will help us to linearly separate the data for example if, if we have a fun if we have a data something like this consider like we have a lot of minus values are here okay a lot of plus values are here okay if i can separate it by a line then this is called linearly separatable data separable data okay so now let me add one more sheet here okay now consider how perceptron calculate the learning okay so perceptron learning rule so what is the learning rule first it will assign assign value to weight can be zero or very small value value now calculate the output we can call it as phi cap now update the weight okay so these are the three basic rules okay so to update your weight what what is the what it follows there consider if i want to update jth weight then i can say it as wj plus delta wj where we can say that wj equal to eta into y minus y cap into x of i so this is x of j here I okay where eta where eta is called this is learning rate 
and its values will be between 0 and 1. This we can discuss in our future lessons. Okay. Now consider example. Let me add one more. Okay. Consider example if our y is if our y is equal to minus 1 and the calculated value y cap is also minus 1. Then s then our formula will be eta into y minus y cap into x of j i right. So consider just substitute these values here. So this will be eta into y is minus 1 and minus y cap is minus 1 then x of j i. So this will be eta into this will be minus 1 plus 1 right x of j i. So the entire term will be is 0. That means no weight applied will happen here. Okay. Now consider a another operation. Consider y is equal to 1 and y cap is equal to minus 1. Okay. So we can apply these values to this formula. Here we have eta into y is 1. 1 minus minus of 1 into x of j i. So this will be eta into 1 plus 1 plus 1 x of j i. This will be eta into 2 x of j i. Okay. Now consider consider eta is 1 and x of j i is equal to 0 0.5. Okay. So in that case we can say that this will be this particular formula will be 1 into 2 into 0 0.5 this is equal to 1.0. So when we calculate new weight, so if you are remembering the earlier formula Wj equal to Wj plus delta W. Here delta W, this is delta W. Delta W is equal to 1, right? So this entire term will be moved towards the positive direction. right so after some time this will be this after one or two iterations or like maybe like multiple iterations this y cap will be converted to y okay so this is how the perceptron calculate the calculate the predicted values okay or like the back, the back propagation happened in perceptron okay now we can say that there are two major drawbacks okay we can say that drawback drawbacks one is this will work only for linearly separate if if the data is linearly separable okay consider an example consider example if if we have a consider this line okay if we have a data something like minus plus 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 minus and this is minus 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 and plus plus minus plus minus so here in this case this is very hard to separate right this cannot be separated with a single line right so this is a Linearly non-separable function or data. So in this case, this kind of a scenario, we cannot able to solve using the perceptron. And ideally, so that is a one problem. Then second will be linearly separable. Okay. 
this is only for you can say that only for linearly separable then we can say that the learning rate eta will be very small ideally 0 to 1 okay so if it is this should be 0 to 1 let me correct it this will be 0 to 1 0 to 1 okay if it is higher values if the learning rate is higher values this will not work okay perceptron will not work okay so last what we need to discuss we need to discuss about the architecture how it look like okay or its representation if we have like input like x1 x2 x3 and we have xm okay here i can say that w0 w1 w2 and wm this will be w okay this will be 1 and this will be x1 x2 and this will be xm okay. this will be sent to a net function this is z okay and this again will be passed to a unit function or active action function here it represented as something like this then we will get the output okay and this output will be back propagated by calculating the error and here the weight update will happen okay so this is the diagram that simply says what is happening in perceptron okay so that is all in this video i believe everybody understood about perceptron and its workflows and everything please do like and subscribe okay have a nice day bye bye